I'll ask you the same question I had to go through. Well, it, it feels like you guys have a standard that you talk about playing to. In the last two or three games, it feels like, in the last, two of the last three games, it feels like in the first half, you guys haven't played to that standard. What, what do you think is going on there and what happened today? You know, I can't, I can't really answer that off the top of my dome. Um, I'll go back and watch the film and I'll probably have a better answer for you. But um, yeah, obviously, we got to come out to a faster start. <clears throat> doing on offense just to get you off balance just in that first quarter? I mean, it's 21 plays and mm -hmm. three plays to kind of start mm -hmm. the game where you guys just weren't able to win those third downs. Yeah, um, but we got to get up and contest. You know, there's too many guys making a catch and the tackle, the defender not right there to make the tackle. You know, um, we got to get up. We got to be on them. We got to be contesting passes. <clears throat> not asking you to make excuses, but speaking for the secondary, mm -hmm. it's been a week where you had guys in and out because of injuries. And even during the game today, you had you had Marquise get hurt. Yep. What, what kind of challenges does that create when you're going against a quarterback who's as accurate as he was today? Yeah, um, yeah, no. Obviously, give credit to him. He was uh, throwing darts today, but um, it, it, it's the next man up mentality. We all go to practice every day. Um, I'm comfortable with whoever goes out there. We we practice together all week. Uh, it just comes down to competing and winning our, winning our uh, one on ones. <clears throat> this team respond from this comeback from this? I mean, you have a bye week now, so an extra week to think about this loss and kind of what it does to the rest of the mm -hmm. season. Yeah, you know, if, it, if I know one thing about this team is that we'll come back from anything. Um, I've been a lot part of a lot of those kind of losses here, and I've never once backed down from it. You know, and I know a lot of guys in that locker room aren't going to do that either. <clears throat> What did you, you know, you went through last year, last November, and then Heinrich comes in at the end, you know, not great circumstances, but did you, what did you feel? How confident were you that it was going to happen, you know, with, with him in charge, which would have been kind of yeah. you know, storybook? Yeah, um, no, I, I think everybody on this team has confidence in Heinrich. Uh, we all know he's a great player and he can, he can execute well at a high level. He did it last year. Um, he picked up right where, uh, Dylan was starting to pick up, and um, we just got to make plays and execute at the end. Yeah, I mean, it's um, something that, you know, with as poorly as we played in the first half, um, it was a one-score ball game. So um, tried to bring some juice going into halftime, and um, I thought the mentality was good. Obviously, the specialists come out a little bit quicker than the team. So as far as what was said after that, I'm not sure, but. Um, you know, to come out on the first play and have that turnover, um, that was tough. But I thought, you know, we battled back from that and put ourselves in a position to where we could have won the game. Um, we saw like we should have won the game with all the mistakes that we've, you know, we had. It's not we don't deserve um, to win a game, you know, m making those amount of mistakes. But um, that's the nature of the beast. And what do you, uh, as a veteran guy, what do you see, say to the guys after a game like this in really the past couple weeks? Yeah, I would say, like, in times like this, a lot of people want to start pointing fingers. But it's really critical to understand that when you point a finger, there's three pointing back at you. So just really you have to examine yourself and how you play. Um, if you're someone who's, you know, not contributing as consistent as you'd like, if you're someone who's not, you know, the same guy every day, if you're someone who, um, you know, gets put in a position to make a play and you're not, maybe examine your process and see what's happening there. Um, and it starts with me and the punt team. Um, and, you know, I can affect, obviously, the special teams room. Um, you know, try to be more consistent with how we approach every kick. Um, but, yeah, I just think that um, – Everyone needs to just, you know, take a look at themselves first before trying to start talking about um, the so-and-so needs to change this or that. A punter's life in the Big Ten can be a, it can be a pretty important job. Um, right. Defensive-oriented games. Is this, you know, two weeks in a row now you guys have had the ball, an opportunity to go down and win the game, or today tie the game right. at the end. Is this kind of – is this – do you guys buy into the thought that, like, this is what Big Ten football is? Like, this is what Big Ten football right. is supposed to look like? Or does that look like what you thought it's supposed to look like? Um, I would say yes and no. I would say the Big Ten is like a mini NFL. Like, the parity is, like, 
is crazy. So um, from that standpoint, yes, but Big Ten football should not look like the amount of mistakes and errors that we make. Um, but yeah, from a talent standpoint, you're never – gone are the days where we can line up and be, oh, we should beat this team or beat that team. Um, just with the transfer portal, NIL, um, every team that we play in this conference, they're going to have dudes up front. They're going to be able to run the ball. They're going to be able to throw the ball over the yard. They're going to be good quarterbacks, good skill players. So, um, you know, we saw that out there today, obviously. I mean, they've got some incredible players. So, um, yeah, I would just go back to kind of my point was over here, just look at ourselves because um, at the end of the day, you know, talking about the opponent doesn't only get you so far. If you give your best and you play to your best, you know, we're unstoppable. But obviously we, we haven't been doing that. Tell you the first half, I mean, how do you explain just the slow start and just kind of getting off balance after the way you guys played a week ago? I mean, it, that, that, that was shocking uh, to see, you know, how how we started out. Uh, you know, everyone was there. Everyone was ready to go out there and compete for 60 minutes. Uh, you know, that like that toss play, we didn't really see a lot of that when we were watching breaking down film. Uh, I think that was one thing that, you know, you kind of got to just kind of figure it out when you're out there, right? Uh, and I think we did that uh, pretty well when we came back out in the second half, kind of just finally settled in and, you know, start playing our ball. As a leader, do you keep the guys from, there'll be a lot of here we go again on the outside looking in. How do you, how do you talk to the guys and get them through this bye week and try to finish strong and bounce back from this? Yeah, well, we make sure that doesn't happen, uh, that here we go again mentality. Uh, I know I'm not going to stand for it because uh, I'm here to win. It's the reason why I came back. Uh, and, you know, if I start hearing that around, then I'm just going to nip it right in the butt. And I know the older guys will as well. Uh, you know, I know how bad us older guys want to go out there and, you know, win. And, and you know, just to fall short like that and not, uh, it really stings. It really hurts. And I know as a team, we're disappointed. You had a lot of success on third down early in that. And how frustrating was that early? And, and what do you think you guys did better to get off the field there as the game went on? Yeah, guys just needed to start winning their one-on-ones. You know, I think the past few times I've been up here, that's been kind of the mentality of the defense is to go out there, uh, you know, it's man on man, one on one, you know, and when all eleven guys are able to win their one on ones, we're pretty, you know, forced to be reckoned with type of deal. And, you know, as we started, like I said, in that second half, we finally kinda of getting got that to click a little bit better and you know, our defense was way better than it was in the first half. How you guys started uh the, the the play disparity, the the amount of plays that they ran in the first quarter, even the first half was was significant, and you finished running seven, 17 more plays than them. Um, what are your What are your feelings about the way that you did battle back, the way that you com competed in the second half, and, and you know what, if anything, there is to gain from that? Well, we stopped them on third down. Finally, uh, eventually, we did. Uh, they were able to convert a lot of their third downs in that first quarter uh, and keep their drives alive. Um, and you know, it's just little nitpicky things here and there. Uh, we, uh, you know, we knew what they were going to do as an offense. We knew that they wanted to keep the ball uh, in their hands and keep it out of our offense's hands. And uh, you know, they they did that pretty well. They're a disciplined team. Credit to them. How tough is this just to go into the bye week now? How, how do you approach the bye? Uh, kind of now two weeks to think about this game. Well, now you get to find out. You know who who's willing to step up for the challenge. Uh, in the locker room, and you know we got a great group of guys who I know are going to face the challenge head on. They just got to finally just start getting those pieces to click faster, uh, find that flow state a little bit faster. You know, start getting going. Um, you know, I, there's a lot to be said. You know, going into this week, we'll be able to watch film and really uh, dissect what uh, what happened. Not working quite right for the offense, including in the red zone. Uh, you know, we just got to. You know, just get going, you know, uh, start fast, um, you know, play with more confidence. You know, I believe we're a confident offense. You know, we just got to go out there, believe in our ability, and, you know, just go execute, you know, execute the play calling and, um, you know, do our jobs to the best of our ability. What kind of a concern, if any, exists that the way that the offense started today, the, you know, some of the things that have happened offensively, lack of rhythm in the passing game, can lead to you know more difficulties, lack of confidence as this month goes along. Um, what, what, what was your question? Are you, do you have concerns about a lack of 
confidence with the among the offensive players? Uh, no. Nah, uh, we believe in each other. We believe in the coaching staff. You know, uh, they uh, do a great job of game planning. You know, it's just you know up to us to just you know find the rhythm, maintain that rhythm throughout the game, and you know just do what we normally do. You know, uh, treat it like team compete, and um, go out there and just and execute. Was it tough to get in the flow? They, had, they took the ball and they held it for eight minutes before you got it. Then you had the three and out. Um, was, that, was that challenging, just the way the game played out in the first quarter for you? Or what do you see from guys on the sideline with that? Uh, a bit challenging, not being able to be out on the field and, uh, you know, just playing. But, um, you know, we, we, we stayed warm. Um, we... Um, you know, we just uh, stayed, stayed, stayed in the game. You know, in situations like that, it's easy to just, you know, get tight and kind of fall out of rhythm. But you know, we did a great job of just, you know, staying up. And um, uh, when the time came, we went out there and we did what we did. So, yeah. I know you think a lot of Dylan. It was a tough game at times for him. How do you see him battle, and then also Heinrich, I guess, when he came in at the end. Um, I'm really proud of uh, both of those guys. Uh, you know. Starting off slow, and um, Dylan, you know, he did a great job. You know, once again, you know, freshman, you know, being able to see him, you know, kind of bounce back from, you know, starting off slow. It's great to see that, you know, and I'm glad that, you know, he understands that, you know, we're all together with him. And then, you know, with Heinrich, you know, coming in a situation uh, like that, and being able to do what he did, you know, I'm super proud of Heinrich. I'm proud of all those guys. So, yeah. I just got hit in the wrong spot. Um, I'll come in tomorrow and see see uh get checked out and probably get get screened. Yeah, I, um, I thought I could go. I thought I thought I could fight through it. Um, I just went out there and um, I guess it kind of locked up on me. And from that point, you know, try to try to come back, but. Um, you know, we trust Heinrich in those situations, and um, I thought it was best for the team that, you know, I, I could possibly hurt them if I went back out there. So um, Heinrich, Heinrich did a really good job. Have you ever been injured uh, in that spot before in your, in your back? Uh, no, I never have. So it was probably like you weren't quite sure going out there what was, what was going to happen. Yeah, I, I just – I didn't know what – or I didn't know what my body could do, and um, I didn't think it was enough to, like, give us a chance to win. So um, – you know, Heinrich, Heinrich did his thing. Dylan, can you just kind of go into the frustration of the first half? It was hard for you guys to stay on the field. It seemed like they were out there the whole – their offense was out there the whole first half. What was it like to, you know, to work through that and try to, you know, try to stay in the game? Yeah, I thought their offense did a good job of staying on the field. Um, yeah, they they had a, they had their looks that, that um, we, ha you know, haven't seen. And um, I think uh, we, we just – you know, we we came, we came in at halftime, and you know, like we came out in the second half, we had answers for it all. But um, yeah, they they did a good job, and you know, give them credit for you know for coming. coming what did in. you see on that on on the interception? Where were you throwing to? And in in hindsight, what would you think? Yeah, um, I probably bypassed my first read too early. Um, you know, I tried to go to Jamal, but uh, yeah, guy fell under, made a play, and um, yeah. Uh, it's uh, my mistake. Was Fedoni the, the initial? Leader? Yes, sir. Bill, uh, Coach, Coach Rule called this a tremendous missed opportunity. How would you characterize this opportunity? Today? Yeah, like he says, missed. Um, had every chance to go win that game, especially in the first half, and um, you know came up short. So uh, we'll we'll let it sting for a couple of days. Um, have a bye week this week and. Yeah, we, we just got we got to figure it out, and and um, you know, there's really there's really no other way around it except you know attacking the head on. Dylan, what's the biggest thing that this offense has to do to improve? Yeah, I think um, you know it starts with me getting the ball in the playmakers' hands, and yeah, I don't we got we got to go look at it, um, and uh, you know I think like the second half we started getting it going, but fortunately it was too late, and. Um, yeah, I don't. We'll take a look at it and then we'll make sure we get it addressed and fixed. How do you feel about a lot of adversity as a young quarterback? How hard is this to kind of manage the ups and downs of being in this situation right now? 
Yeah, it's hard. Um, you know, like, I'm a competitor. I want to win. And, um, you know, initially why I decided to come here was to win. And I, and I still think we can win. You know, there's there's no doubt in my mind. But, um, yeah, it's, I mean, it's hard to, to say the least of, you know, losing. You know, I know all our whole team hates losing. And we put so much time and effort into, you know, going out trying to win these games. And, um it just sucks when when things don't happen and get done the way that you you know plan for it to be. How much trouble was the blitzing giving you? It seemed like they wanted to bring a lot of pressure every time it got to third down. Yeah, first half they brought a lot of pressure, um, mostly just zero, and uh, you know they they uh, I don't know we we you know like I said we we fi- we figured it out and we fixed it in the second half, but yeah, give them credit they they came out and and they had their plan and they executed it.